I've always had a thing for quotes. Back in the day, I used to get the big physical quote books from the bookstore, but it was always a pain to find what I was looking for, so I was very glad when things started moving online and I was able to just search for the quote that I wanted when I needed it. But over time, I found that I really didn't care for most of the quotes that I found online. So eventually, I started curating my own collection of quotes using a variety of different apps, including Day One and Rome Research, among others. Now, over the years, I've collected thousands of quotes from various sources, including the books that I read. But when it came time to move all those notes into Obsidian, I could never figure out how to store these quotes in a way that I actually liked. For example, do I just create a different note for each quote? And do I use the quote itself as the note title so it shows up in the search results? What about the longer quotes? Do I shorten the titles in some way? And how do I see the quotes in a list so I can browse through and find the one that I actually want? There was never a clean solution that I liked. I scoured the forums, I read every article I could find on how other people were setting up their quote libraries in Obsidian, and I literally spent years experimenting. Nothing gave me the clean, elegant solution that I was after. That is, until recently, when I finally cracked the nut and I figured out how to do it using a combination of the Search Core plugin, a custom CSS snippet, and a beta community plugin to give me the view that I wanted to browse and find a quote from my own personal quote library. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I set it all up and show you how to build your own quote book inside of your Obsidian Vault. Now, the first thing I needed to figure out was the specific search query that I needed to get the results in the format that I wanted. Since a lot of the quotes that I collect are from books that I read, I wanted a query that would show just the quotes from the longer markdown notes that I transferred into Obsidian from MindNote. And if you wanna see the whole process on how I take notes on books that I read, check out this other video where I walk through and I show you what it looks like when I transfer things from the mind map in MindNote into Obsidian. To start though, let's look at the basic embedded query for the quote book note itself. Now the basic query that we wanna use here is a line query, and we wanna show lines that have the quote tag applied. So the key piece of this query is this line that shows line colon hashtag quote. This is going to show all the lines that have hashtag quote added in the note. Now because I have roughly 50,000 notes in my Obsidian Vault, I'm likely gonna get some results here from other notes and articles that I've written that I don't really wanna show up in the query results. So the next piece is to add a line to the query that eliminates everything in the articles folder by adding path colon minus articles to the query. The minus tells the query to ignore everything in that specific folder. So this is the foundation of the query, but it's still not returning results that are all that useful. For one thing, there's an ugly search string up here at the top, and for another, some of these quotes are a little bit long. And while we can toggle on the show more context button when we build a query in the sidebar, it's not easy to expand that in an embedded query, at least not without an additional community plugin called Query Control, which allows us to add some additional controls to our embedded query. Now, Query Control is not available in the community plugins directory, but it is installable via the Obsidian Brat plugin by TFT Hacker. Brat stands for Beta Reviewer Auto Update Tool, and it allows you to install beta plugins that don't appear in the community plugin directory. Now, obviously there's an additional risk involved with this, so be careful here, but assuming that you wanna go ahead with it, just install and enable the Brat plugin, and then select the Add a Beta Plugin for Testing option from the command palette, and paste the GitHub URL of the plugin that you want to add. Now, I've added the GitHub URL for the Query Control plugin in the description below this video. So you can just paste that URL into the Brat command and then enable the Query Control plugin from the Community Plugins list to enable some additional features in your embeddable query. Now specifically, there's a couple of things that we want to do with this query. First, we want to change the title to something that looks a little bit better than our complicated search string. So let's add title colon quote book to the query. Now, if you prefer not to have the title displayed at all, which is a little unnecessary here since the note title is at the top, you can add hide title colon true to the query. Next, we wanna display more context so we can see the whole line in the query results, which we can do by adding context colon true. Now we can see the longer quotes in our results. And we can also toggle this on by default in the settings for the query control plugin. 
Lastly, we want to show the markdown results as opposed to the actual code because it's a little easier to navigate the results by adding render markdown colon true to our query. Now, as the number of results grow, rendering in markdown is important because it allows us to see things a little bit cleaner. And if we're in reading mode, we can use command F to find the text on the page, which is helpful when we're trying to find a quote for something specific like habits. Now, if you're not in reading mode, the find command will search the text of the query itself, but not the text displayed in the results via live preview. So very important that you switch to reading mode. Now at this point, we're really close, but there's still a limit to the size of the query results. And to scroll the list, we need to position the cursor inside that query window. I prefer to have the full results show, even if it means that the page is longer. But to accomplish this, we need to add a CSS snippet by going to the appearance settings and clicking on the folder icon to open the hidden folder, then paste a CSS file here. Now I've actually included a CSS file you can use in the Obsidian University Starter Vault, which you can download by going to obsidianuniversity.com vault. But if you wanna build it yourself, it's really not that hard. You just need to modify the dot internal dash query dot search dash result dash container class and add a modifier for max dash height colon 100%. This will make the query results stretch to fit the size of the full results of that query, which I find easier to navigate when I'm looking at the note itself. So this right here is exactly what I was looking for when I set out to build my quotebook in Obsidian. But I realized once I did this, there's still a hole in how useful this could be. Yes, I now had a list of all my quotes and I can cycle through the results quickly using the find command as long as I'm in reading mode, but occasionally I might capture quotes that are outside of the books that I read. What do I do with those? My solution to this problem was to create another note that I could quickly capture quotes to called quote list. Now this single list of quotes was inspired by my experimenting with task management in Obsidian, which required me to think a little bit differently about my tasks and be okay with just dumping every new task into one big giant list. And basically I've taken that same approach to capturing quotes and I simply append new quotes to the top of the list on this note. Now, the way I capture quotes to this list is to use a capture macro via the quick add community plugin. I created a command called quote, which captures to my quote list note. I want new quotes at the top, so I toggled off the right to bottom of note option, and I adapted the capture format to match what I would use for the bullets from my book notes. Here's the exact code I use, which again is available in my free Obsidian University starter vault. Now first there's a dash, which gets rendered as a bullet. Then there's the speech bubble emoji, which is my visual indicator of a quote. And then in quotes, I have double curly brackets and then value colon quote. This will create a pop-up where I can type the text of my quote. Next, I've got double brackets, which will render a link to the file for the author's name. And then in double curly brackets inside that, another placeholder for value colon author which will create another pop-up where I can enter the author's name. And the end result is that it will become a page link in Obsidian. And then finally, I've got the hashtag quote at the end to apply the quote tag that I use for the search query to this line. Okay, so now I can run this command from the command palette, enter the quote, enter the author. And then if I open my quote list note, the result is shown here at the top. And if we go back to our quote book note, there's now an option based on this quote list note, which shows all of the quotes that have been captured here in the query results. But the real useful piece of this is combining a search query for an individual that pulls quotes from multiple sources into one place. So for example, I might wanna see all the quotes that I've collected from James Clear, not just the ones that appear in Atomic Habits. So now I can create another query on the person page that pulls in just the quotes from this person across multiple sources. So here's how I set this up. Again, we've got an embedded query in the note, and this time I do want the title, which I'll call quotes from James Clear. Next, I'll use the line query again, but I'll expand it so that it includes the exact text of double brackets, James Clear, space, hashtag quote. I'll put that whole thing in quotes so it returns only that exact phrase, which is the same in the book notes as in the quick add capture macro that I just created. Next, we want render markdown colon true to show the markdown results just like before in reading mode. And again, I want to remove all the results from the articles folder by using path colon minus articles. 
And now we can pull in results from both Atomic Habits and my quote list like so. Now one minor gotcha with this is that we've now created a new note in a new location that will show up in our original query. So to get around this, I actually created a people folder in my Obsidian Vault and I moved all of my people notes there. Then I went back to the original query and added path colon minus people so that it filtered out the queries that I added to these people notes. So that's how I put together my quote book in Obsidian. The end result is I have a note that I can go to if I wanna browse through all my quotes, which is searchable via the find command as long as I'm in reading mode, a master quote list for random quotes that don't come from the books, but I still want to keep track of, and person queries, which make it easy to review all the quotes that I've collected from a specific person. Now, if you wanna play around with this yourself, I've actually added all of this to the Obsidian University Starter Vault so you don't have to worry about adding that CSS snippet or installing the beta query control plugin. The queries are there and you can copy and paste them into your own vault, but you will need to transfer over the CSS snippet and install the beta plugin manually if you decide to use it in your own vault. But all the resources are there for you. Now the CSS file can be found by going to the starter vault appearance settings and opening the hidden folder like I showed you in this video. Then just copy and paste that file into the hidden folder in your Obsidian vault and toggle it on but you will have to install the beta plugin for yourself via the Brat community plugin if you want the additional controls to render your embedded queries the same way that I showed you here. Now, by the way, the Obsidian University Starter Vault also has a bunch of other goodies to help you make the most of your notes and ideas in Obsidian. There's a collection of helpful Obsidian tips that are organized by category, all of my personal template files, some additional resources like a markdown reference note, even the shortcuts that I use personally to capture things for my daily questions journaling workflow that I do in Obsidian. And you can download the newest version of the Obsidian University Starter Vault by going to obsidianuniversity.com vault.